Hey guys, James, James Boatbill. So this is what I've been doing for quite some time, uh, trying to get this uh, dashboard together, the helm. Um, I went with uh, analog uh, gauges, and um, this is my setup. I went with the uh, Sinrad Cruise model. It's a uh, nine inch screen, and um, that will be my chart planner and fish finder. And i um, very excited to get that thing going. I have this uh, six gang uh, switches that has a 12 volt supply and a USB supply and that indicates your uh, battery voltage. Uh, these are all circuit breakers and uh, I believe they're rated at uh, 10 amps each. This is mainly going to be for uh, lights in the um, in the boat. And uh, further down, um, I'm going with the Suzuki motor, a DF200, and uh, this is a Suzuki gauge with the Suzuki uh, monitor, basically idiot lights, you know, like uh, check engine, it's overheating, oil pressure, that type of thing. Um, and moving on, I uh, got trim gauge, fuel gauge, uh, we have the hours gauge, and of course uh, GPS so we can uh, know our speed. This is really cool because um, this isn't like the old fashioned um, uh, speed gauges where you have to run a tube down to the, the water and it measures the pressure of the water. Um, this is all GPS and you just pop it in and put power to it and it'll tell you your speed. Uh, of course, um, I got a, well, let's, let's say I got the uh, start switch, uh, you know, the on and, and the kill switch is mounted here. Uh, this gauge here is the, um, the jack plate gauge. Similar to the uh, trim gauge, the trim gauge will show whether the, uh, the, the outboard is tilted up or in, and uh, that's the tilt gauge for that. This is the jack plate gauge, which will move uh, up and down, and uh, that's, that's the gauge that shows that. This is uh, based the arrows here and buttons. That you, you'd think it would be, you'd have the, the switch right there for up and down, but it's not. It's to uh, control how the, the brightness on the uh, screen. The gauges will be mounted here, jack plate up and down. Now, I went ahead with the, uh, the Bennett system for uh, trim tabs and the uh, auto, uh, auto uh, control. And um, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but I know I have the manual one on my other boat. And it's a little bit, uh, you always gotta, be playing with it especially if people are moving around the boat with that speed um, or conditions you know wakes and so forth and uh, which it's not that big of a deal but I figured brand new boat you know and uh, I just wanted to go with a um, with the auto trim I'll show you the uh, the business end uh, basically you know there's the backside where you're gonna hook up all your uh, gauges to. Uh, you can notice the uh, the pump for the hydraulic steering is recessed back, and that's because I wanted uh, less room, you know, uh, sticking out. I uh, Just my personal preference and setup in this particular boat. And uh, this is not exactly centered. It's not bolted on. But trust me, when I stand at the helm, all the gauges are visible and um, it, it's everything is within reach and you know I think that's one of the most important things you could you could do is uh, when you're customizing it because you know you're the one going to be operating the boat and there was many hours spent uh, me uh, setting up and figuring out how I wanted this configured uh, it was a lot of forward thinking and uh, easy work really to do there isn't that much carpentry into making this up but it made it a lot easier that it's out of the uh, the boat so I could work on it here in the garage opposed to uh, making all that wood and mess if it was permanently mounted on the boat guys I, I hope you enjoyed the um, the tour of the uh, the helm here 
it's um, it's I'm really happy the way the way it turned out, and especially when I start putting the uh, the glossy varnish on it, man, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. But uh, hey, that's one more step to getting this boat completed and uh, get this sucker in the water. I'm uh, I'm with you. I'm wanting to do it as fa as fast as you do, but you know at this point I don't even have a motor yet for it, and um, so one thing at a time. But um, this is how I did it, and hopefully it's fuel for thought for somebody out there. Y'all be good.